Hey, how are we all doing? Yeah, today we're on another adventure. So yeah, today we're actually in Clacton on sea. And just look at that pier. Looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, we've got the big wheel up there and the fun fair on the pier. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna walk you all around the pier and all around the seafront, also into the town as well. So we're from Skegness near enough because we were there all summer and uh, Skegness has been voted one of the worst places, worst seaside places in the country, as well as Clacton on Sea. So today I've actually come here today to actually find out for myself to actually see if Clacton is really what they say it is in the Witch magazine because we think they're wrong. Uh, I've only been here a few hours and what I've seen up tonight is absolutely wonderful here. There's loads to do for the kids, there's loads of amusements and there's all sorts to do. So I'm going to do take for a walk around, show you what's happening and uh, yeah, let's go. Right, so while we're here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all my new videos that's coming along and give us a thumbs up as well because that really helps my algorithm. Yeah, so when we got here it was a bit dull and um, actually the uh, sun is actually coming out now and uh, yeah it's looking to be a really lovely day so yeah there's even people down there on the beach look they're in the uh, bathing costume so they must be going in the sea as well it is a little bit rough uh, but it, it looks good it looks good i say the wind's a bit uh, a bit strong today it has dropped down a little bit but yeah up to now what i've seen it's actually a nice place uh, clean and tidy lovely gardens up the front here so we'll have a quick walk up the front of the gardens as well Right then guys, so it looks like there's two ways down actually to the pier. So you've got this way where the steps are, and then you've got this other way here, I can just show you, look, as you walk from the town under this lovely bridge. And you can even uh, come across the bridge and uh, come to the gardens or if you was going the other way to the amusement uh, park. So yeah, there's two amusement parks actually at Clacton on Sea. That is really unusual and they're right close to each other. So yeah, we've got the big wheel on the, uh, on the front of the pier, which we will be going on that uh, so we can see a good view for a more Clacton. So we'll just take you down these steps towards the pier. Check out the sand, the sand looks really good. So the comparing this uh, with Skegness saying these are both uh, the worst places to visit in the UK, the seaside resorts. Well, I'm coming here to prove you wrong again, you witch magazine. As like I said before, you haven't got a clue. Really nice. Yeah, so this is the entrance to Clacton Pier. So you've got the fish and chip shops on the side as well and some bars. It's a bar and grill over there as well. And they've also got tempin bowling in here. But yeah, this looks massive inside here. Yeah? Looks really good. Right, you can even win a paddleboard here, look. So you need 30,000 tickets to win a paddleboard. Right, so we just come out of the pier and the fun fair's going main, mental. So yeah, it's a lot busier than it was when we came earlier. We'd had a little bit of a scout around earlier. But yeah, loads of brilliant rides here. Got roller coasters on here. We've got some go-kart tracks. We've got a twister over there that's going round. But yeah, really good. Yeah, a little bit, bit windy. We've got uh, the log flume here. Uh, you also get wet if you stand here. So yeah, got to be really careful when they come down. You don't want to get soaking wet through on a cold day. Wow, 
white water ride. Yeah, the sun's come out and everybody's out. Right, so we're just going to make our way down to the end of the pier and show you what it's like down at the end of the pier. But you can see the sea is a little bit rough, it's a bit windy, so the mic might play up a little bit here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be out at sea uh, today. As you can see there on the uh, pier, all the fun fair rides. Really good, it's, uh, it's good how they've actually put everything on this pier. Yeah, really good. Then we've got the other side there, and you can see the roller coaster and all the uh, hotels uh, just on the side there and I think that takes you all the way down to uh, Jaywick so I think we might make a, uh, a visit to Jaywick uh, this week just to show you what Jaywick actually looks like yeah but up to now you know I can't find anything wrong with this place I can't see litter I can't see trouble anywhere it is actually a really nice place God, this beer's been here for some years. So apparently they used to uh, moor the paddle steamers or something like that. But they came from London uh, on, this, on the end of this pier. So we'll take a look down there and uh, see uh, if that's true or not. Yes, you can actually uh, get a permit and actually come down here fishing if you was interested in fishing coming for the day, or for the week, just for the fishing. Just, uh, this wind's really bad, so I just hope it's not making a monthly sound on my uh, microphone. So we'll, uh, we'll see when we get back what it's like. But yeah, look at the little beach stretching right down there. So there's like a tower down the far end, I don't know what that is. I was hoping to put the drone up later, so uh, pr probably tonight, so actually staying over I could uh, put that, so they put the drone up if the wind drops, hopefully. But yeah, this is where they actually used to uh, moor the paddle steamers, apparently, that actually came from London uh, for all the visitors to come over uh, to uh, stay in Clacton. Right, so we're actually going to go on the big wheel. So the big wheel on the Clacton Pier. There's a bit of music playing now. As you can see, we're on the big wheel on the pier of Clacton on Sea. And what a wonderful view it is as well. Just take a look. So you can see all the little fun fair there that's on the side of the seashore 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 lovely beaches down there I'm really surprised at these beaches right as you can see down there a little amusement park and it's got a splash park as well and nobody's quite on it at the moment so it's a bit cold but I uh, bet when it's a lovely day and the weather's really warm that people would be actually on there yeah so we've got this little bridge that takes you across from the amusement park across to these lovely gardens so yeah a little bit later on hopefully we'll get the drone up and uh, show you the gardens from above but like i say we're getting a good view from up here we're actually stationary at the moment i hope i haven't broke down seems to be a lot of seagulls about as well a very popular place for the seagulls yeah so that was good that was great views of uh, clacton on sea and it was only four pound a ride believe it or not four pound a ride yeah, check out all these seagulls, they know where all the uh, fish and chips are and uh, the donuts and that, they're all uh, waiting around for them. But yeah, the beach has got really busy all of a sudden. So say it is half term, so the kids are still off school and the sunshine has actually come out. So yeah, it's, good. it's a good day for it. I just wish this wind would drop a little bit though. <laughs> So yeah, we've got on the beach, we've got a little cafes as well. Looks like this is Eric's. Yeah, uh, so you can sell uh, 
alcohol as well on the beach. I'm not sure if you're allowed to take it down on the beach, but yeah, it looks like it's all just been done up. That looks really nice, that does. You can also sit up the top as well. Yeah, this is a really good idea as well. So yeah, have got beach toys here. So if you bought some buckets of spades, you don't want to take them home with you. You can actually uh, borrow them out of here. Yeah. Check these girls out there. That's a sunbathing on the beach. It's like being back in Benidorm, isn't it? You know, roller coaster going around there on the uh, pier. Yeah, so there's quite a few uh, cafes actually, uh, and, like takeaways on the beach and uh, also places to buy your buckets and spades and stuff, like they do have everywhere else. And got another bar there as well. Not quite open yet, probably open later. These beach huts look good, all in the different colours. We've even got people's names on them, look as well. The Brothers. Yeah, good idea that. And uh, the Duke of Montrose. But uh, check out this guy. So he must have uh, been breaking in a few times. Cam, one, two, three, four locks on there. <laughs> That's a shame. Let's yeah, so have a really nice walk down here and uh, to walk down the seafront. Shame about this wind though. <laughs> I hope it's not affecting my mic too much. You know, down near this end we've got uh, Toby Carvey on the uh, seafront, believe it or not. We've got a uh, crazy golf over there. Yeah, so it looks like we're coming on to uh, Martella Bay. Yeah, so we're right down the far end of the beach. Uh, a bit further down is Jaywick, believe it or not, but yeah. The facilities on these beaches are really good. So yeah, you've got toilets all the way down as well and the free of charged. Also all the steps that actually uh, go down to the beaches are really good as well. So yeah, easy access to the beaches. Uh, looks like the tide actually comes right close in here, but uh, that'd be good. Uh, nice to see the waves uh, brushing against the uh, steps. Yeah, Pozo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you've even got a car park uh, to park down here to go straight onto the beach. So we're just coming to where this fort is. We're not quite sure what it actually is, so we're going to take a look and uh, see what it is. I've been told there's quite a few of these down this coast. All right, so this tells you all about the butlins. So butlins actually used to be here, look. So they've actually built a housing estate in its place. So yeah, this tells you all about Butlins and showing you all the steam boats coming in and parking up at the uh, pier. So I bet that's when they actually uh, used to come to come to Butlins. Yeah, so the wind's dropped a little bit down here. So at the uh, at the end of the garden, so we're just going to walk through the garden, show you the gardens. So, so you've also got the police station down there, the hospital, and there's West Cliff Theatre down there. You can just see it in the background there, it's got some flags flying outside. But uh, I don't know if that's a hotel as well over there, but it's a really old hotel, which looks really nice. Yeah, so we're at the far end of the gardens, and uh, apparently these look absolutely beautiful in the summer. Uh, so we're at the far end, so this doesn't look uh, appealing to me yet, but I think as we go along they actually could look a lot better. Uh, as we saw from the big wheel, you could actually see all the flower arrangements and everything. Uh, yeah, it looks like the gardeners are here actually doing a bit of work now. But... Yeah, I was expecting these uh, to be looking a bit more tidier, so this looks like a bit of a Mediterranean feel. Uh, I don't know if the like a like an, uh, pine tree type thing that you probably see in uh, in Spain. We've got the olive trees in the middle as well. The rose garden uh, area. And the uh, pavilion looks like a bit of a rose as well, doesn't it? The way they've done that. So you've got the uh, Union Jack, 
made out of the flowers in the center this is really nice See, uh, just cross the road they've got the weather spoons there and uh, this is actually the way into the town so yeah a few mills from arcades as you're walking up towards the town as well and uh, we'll take you down there show you what's happening down there. yeah just wish that wind would drop a little bit it'd be a perfect day then uh, we're gonna go down here and it'll be sheltered a little bit so we've got the uh, uh, cellar so i don't know if that's a nightclub and tom peppers so yeah you've got to virtually the same as what really uh, skegness has you know where we uh, always go to you know the amusement arcades and the seafront and the uh, amusement park but you know uh, it's there's not a lot of rubbish kicking about at all and it's uh, about the middle of the day as well so uh don't know what it's like later if they actually clean everywhere at night but yeah look at it check it out it looks really nice don't it laughing earlier about these uh, concrete balls it's uh, actually in the roadway so you get a lot of these in uh, Spain Benidorm and so and other places but imagine kicking one of those at night when you've had a few beers are right? you well, not far to go to the hospital it's just further down the way and we've got the McDonald's at the front so if you like your McDonald's check that out check out the size of these seagulls they're in the right place aren't they ready for the McDonald's so yeah we'll just take you a short walk down showing you what's happening uh, down the shopping centre area it's windier down here now so well as they've got a, it's a fun fair on the pier they've also got one here as well so we're fun fair free admission and uh, new adventure golf as well also fish and chips on here as well yeah so we're, the, we're at the other side of the pier so i think this could, could be like the north side uh, of the uh, pier but yeah the beach still looks lovely down here as well uh, so you've got the little fun fair and you've got all the crazy golf also look at that pink palace hotel lovely yes yeah, so there's quite a few guest houses down this side as well including upside down a house right then everybody so there you go then that was a brilliant walk around clacton on sea so i've really enjoyed this so i've come here today to compare it with skegness so saying it's uh, one of the worst places the seaside resorts in the uk no way is it clean tidy loads of stuff to do for the kids prices of stuff's really cheap as well uh, compared to skegness about the same prices I don't know which one I prefer, i have probably put them both together, Skegness and Clacton on Sea, but this place is well worth a visit. Uh, so you, all that pier you've got over there with a the fun fair on it, uh, I mean you've got a pier at Skegness but it hasn't got the uh, fun fair on it like it has over there. Yes, I hope you enjoyed that little walk around Clacton on Sea, I certainly have, and uh, don't forget if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for all my new videos that I'm going to be uploading and also give us that thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. So we'll see you soon. Thank you.